I'm Danielle and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, we here at the channel are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, guidance, advice. And I want to talk about uh, how our sages say that we must love uh, the people who study Torah. Uh, love for those who study Torah. So why? What's the big deal? Why are we supposed to do this? It was uh, Rabbi uh, Simcha Zissel Ziv who says that each day we recite, we repeat in the Shema the commandment to love the Almighty, to love Hashem with all, uh, with all our heart, with all our souls, with all our, with all our wherewithal, all the resources. When you experience love, for people who study the Almighty's Torah, by extension, you are also have love for the giver of the Torah. By feeling joy for the scholarly successes of those who, who, uh, uh, who, who study Torah and feeling love for them, you'll feel a greater connection to the Torah that you study, and this will lead to a more profound observance of the Torah in your part. By loving the person who studies Torah, you build a connection with Hashem, the one who in his great kindness gave us the Torah. When you are happy, when you are joyful in uh, the accomplishments, we had just uh, at the time of this recording, we recently had a Siyam Ashas the culmination of the study of the whole Torah and the, uh, the, of the, the Talmud, they study again, takes seven years. It's a big deal. When we connect, when we have joy, when we celebrate that, that will, please God, improve our own Torah study. May this, uh, may this always be the case. Show respect, show love, show admiration for the people who uh, have devoted their lives to the study of Torah. Maybe this might, in a roundabout way, improve your, uh, your Torah study, your learning, and your performance of commandments. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.